And it's been a while. I figured I'd do a little update on the CNC router. Still working on it slowly. I didn't really do much on it last summer. We were camping most of the summer, but made quite a bit of progress lately. Oh, and I got the e-stop working. It was reversed before. So if I wanted it to stop, I'd have to pull it out instead of push it in. <laughs> figure out how to do That's pretty easy to switch after I figured it out. Um, then I got my home switches done. Let's see these. I don't want to push it, but there's one for each axis, obviously. And it's just a, a wire. Oh man, I can't remember which one. I think it was, oh yeah, it was this pin here. Like, I guess it doesn't matter which pin. It's one of the pins and it's just a one circuit through all of them. So it was pretty straightforward. So it only does one axis at a time and then until it hits it, and it does this little thing, and then it does the next one until it hits a switch, and then back. But yeah, it was pretty easy. But after you figure it out, and uh, today, oh, and I also made it so it couldn't over travel. So I went after you home out. You put in how far you want it to move, how far it can move. It should. I think I had like. Hmm, there goes. 4.2 or. 4.9, I think it was. Well, that was 5 inches. Nope. So now it says Z axis travel exceeded. <laughs> so. I do that for each axis. You basically just type in how far it can go once it hits the switch. So you could over potentially over travel before you home it out. <clears throat> well, actually, it would over travel before you home it out, I believe. So I got that figured out. Um, right now, this let's move this back so I can show you all the wires in the. Um, Cable track that sucked putting all that in there. <laughs> so I got router wire or the power cord for the router, Z axis for the encoder and the motor itself, stepper motor, and then the the limit switches, home switches. Through there, this is kind of ugly. Still trying to do a well, this is temporary, <laughs> I guess. That's why I just wanted it to work now, and then I'll make a table for it and whatnot. But so it goes through here, and then it goes through this one, back around. <clears throat> through here. So these are the, well, this one's bigger. I don't know if it's bigger. It was a lot tighter fit in there because I had to put, it has more wires in it because I got the Y or X, or I can't remember which one that, the X I believe, wires got added into this. And of course, <clears throat> I couldn't um, just stick the, the motors have the disconnects but it wouldn't fit through the cable track when I unplugged it and stuck, tried to stick it through the last ring or last rung, whatever. So I had to take all these off and then run it through and then back in to that. And then I had to add a longer cord to the, I can't remember which one, I think it was the Y or the X. 
axis because it wouldn't reach wasn't long enough to go all through here and then back behind it over to there so that's where we're at with that i think what else i did oh i used fusion 360 I figured that out a little bit i was able to let's see if i have that program in here still oops load oh is this one I just did a little something to see if it would work let's see I think I'll turn this down I'm pretty sure it's going to work but I don't know if it loses its offsets when I turn it off or not yet yeah I don't know find out I guess Oops, gonna home out. I think that's gonna work. That looks like it saved its spot. Oh. What the hell? I don't really know what I'm doing at this point. There. <laughs> Obviously the router would be on, but this is a program that I, well, a part I drew in Fusion 360 and then made a program out of it and downloaded it. Well, I had to use a USB. Little drive. Thumb drive deal. <laughs> it just faces off the top of a board, basically. But it was more of a proof of concept deal that it would work. But we don't need to watch that whole thing. Kind of cool. I'll just leave it running while I keep talking because it's kind of neat. Then today, well, on and off for so, I've been trying to figure out what to do with the spoil board. So I heard these from Rockler. They're just uh, T track. Like universal T track. Okay, we have some over here still. Universal four foot T track from Rockler. <coughs> so they can use um, three quarter, or not three quarter, quarter inch bolts will fit in there. And I just bought a couple clamps just to have. They just go in here, basically like T slots, pretty much. Kind of it. You can also use uh, bolts. I think three quarter, not three quarter, quarter inch and five sixteenths bolts will fit in there. The same way. So that was kind of nice out of that. And then uh, I got well. That's another story. But. So I was doing these little cutouts on a router table so it fits in there better. So it won't um, pull out as much. I figure when I clamp, it'll want to pull it up. So that should keep it down more. And then there's still room to get the clamp or the stud in there, I guess. So I was using the router table to put that on. And my router broke. I was pretty annoyed by that. This router is pretty old, but it only has like, I don't know, a couple hours of use on it. Although it's probably 15, 17, actually maybe more than that years old. And I think the variable speed deal went out on it. So now I gotta go buy another one of those. I don't know. I well, needed it maybe like another 20 minutes and I'd been done with it for who knows how long. <laughs> oh well. So I checked it over a little bit and it has, it doesn't have power at the brushes at all. I took the brushes out and looked at them, they look brand new. I had a meter on it and, oh wait, I wonder if that would be, 
Hmm. I think I'd want to go to a brush to the winding, I think. Not to brush to brush. Hmm. I'll try that quick. Yeah, I'll do it later. But there's not a whole lot. Really update updated more. I had to buy that router table. This stuff was 20 bucks a stick. This is just, oh, I to cut these, I don't have a table saw. So I bought one of those. I'm just gonna start doing something different. You can see the G-code on here also. Kinda nice, or the picture. for a second here. To cut these, I didn't have a table saw. And, well, I'd probably buy one eventually, but I don't want to spend any more money. So I bought this like a saw guide from Craig. And I think it worked pretty good, actually. I was actually pretty happy with it. It's like 45 bucks or something. But, yeah, you just set your... Got a little mark on there, you just set it where you want it on there and cut away. <coughs> what? I gotta go probably buy a new router. Cut all these. These are 48 inches. And this is like 39 or something, or 36 or something, 38, I can't remember. So I cut all that off. Gotta get like a little counter bar pilot hole thingy. Oh geez, there's a wasp in there. Huh. That's one of those mean ones. Probably can't see it. Those one big hanging ones. Anyways. I don't really like that in here. Oh, uh, what was I saying? Oh, jeez. Looks like I need to get a dust cover on that. It's already dusty. <clears throat> yeah. Getting close, but still got... Well, not a whole lot to do. Try to get this table. I gotta screw these in. And then cut these, I said. Drill like counterboard holds, I can screw these in to the board under it. Then you mill or dust the top of the surface off so it's all flat. I bought a three quarter inch bit, I think it was, to do that. Um, here we go. Freud, Freud or Freud. That's hard to open with one hand. There. Three quarter inch. Then you then it'll all be flat. After it's all screwed down and whatnot, then you mill it all. So back and forth, back and forth. But <clears throat> I just found out that Rockler store I'm in northwest Wisconsin, in the Twin Ports area. So go down the I don't go down to the cities a lot, but um I just figure out there's a Rockler Wood, shop, wood store that I went to for the first time. That was a pretty cool store. I never knew it was a store because I've been more into the metal side, but eh, kind of a cool store. Probably go back. Usually spend a lot of money there. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's it. Been a little bit more motivated after I got some of the stuff that I was worried about taken care of, like the limit switches. And the fusion software side. You got more fun building it so far than some of this other stuff, but yeah. turn this back on and let it sing. I think it sounds kinda neat. I don't know how good you can well you can hear it, but it does a lot of movement here pretty quick. It does like some engraving type stuff. 
Don't know why that wasp is bugging me. Let's get him out of here. There we go. There. Now it's doing quite a bit of movement. Kind of neat. Anyways, thanks for watching.